All right, so last time we were here, we built this section here, which is the crew section. Now we have to move on to contact. That took us long enough so that I had, had to create another video. So now let's do go ahead and do the contact section. Okay, again, I have done a great job for you, and that is I have created the HTML for you. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into my, again, I'm going to select the actual section tags and then control V because I've, I've added those in and then I'm going to take this and tab it over, tab, tab, and everything now is perfect. So again, we're using a form. So we have the form object here. We also have a form action, which is PHP. I, I put this in there. You would normally put like um, contact form dot PHP would be the form that um, is the action file, which would be running on a server. I have um, a link to a video if you ever wanted to play around with PHP. PHP runs on the um, runs on the free hostia server. So if you write a PHP form, it will go ahead and work. So if you want to play around with this and see how that worked, you can go ahead and do so. So we have all this information here, plus a submit button. Um, I have programmed it so that when, a, when uh, a person clicks on the button, it'll come up and say, thank you for sending the feedback. Of course, that's not doing anything because nothing's being processed. We would need that PHP to make that happen. All right, so let's do file and save all and then refresh and see how this is going to look. All right, so there's contact. And what we want to do simply is we want to move this into the middle of the page rather than being over there and having all this extra space. If this is a really wide one, it would look kind of silly to be on the back end there. So let's go ahead and write some CSS to center this. All right, so down here, we're going to have section hash contact and what we want to do is we're actually going to do the same thing we did with the sandwiches and that is we're going to say i want the h2 <clears throat> text align center and that's going to move that to the middle and then we what we want to do is, is the form is inside an article <sighs> So let's go for, I can't remember now. Yes, yeah, see the form is inside an article and the H2 is separate. I thought I had done that. All right, so uh, Texas Line Center. Okay, that's all we're gonna do here. And now we're gonna come down and format that article. So we're gonna do section, hash, contact, space, article. So the article is a block level element, which means it's going to span the entire thing. So this right here, article, actually goes all the way to the end. But because everything is left aligned, everything is pushed over here. If we say center it, let's 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 go ahead and we haven't done anything yet except center. I'll save all and then refresh. All right, so that moved to center. If I decide to center everything in an article. It would move these over, but then they would be dependent, centered based upon their size. So this would be centered in the box. That'd be fine. But please provide feedback would also be centered. And we don't want all that. We want this actually to be left aligned, but centered on the page. So we're going to do that with margin like we've done before with main. And that is we're going to um, provide it a width. Because if we just did it with margin, uh, that wouldn't help much because it takes up 100% of the container. So let's just do the width. If we if we took a look and saw by inspecting it how wide it was, it's like 590 something width. So what we're going to do is we'll just give it a width of 600, just give it some fudge room, and then we'll go ahead and add the margin. And we'll do zero margin up and down. And then we'll do auto left and right. And what it'll do is take all the extra space and divide it in half 
and throw it on either side of that article. So let's do file, save all, and refresh. Okay. See, so other than that, if we did, did center everything, this name and this box would be centered up here. Rather than left line, that would look ugly, and the submit button would also be in the middle. And someone would think we well, didn't know what we were doing. But, of course, we do know what we're doing, so that's how we're doing it. All right, so the next thing is, well, it's contact. So the next thing we have is this footer section on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is HTML for this footer. And again, I have given you some great content. I probably should have left off footer and section, but I think that would have caused some students to have a hard time. So I left it on there. So I'm just going to copy that and just overwrite the entire footer that we have here with the new HTML, control V. And now I had to move this all over. So I select that and tab and then tab. All right, now everything is nicely organized. So last time we did something like this in a footer, we used a block quote in order to be able to put this on there and then put a bunch of BRs at the end. This is another good way of doing it. Um, why do I have hash here? I'm going to have to fix that. It probably won't be on your final one, but this should be um, HTTP colon slash slash www dot trident tech.edu oh, oh i see why now i see why never mind <laughs> because trident sandwiches does not exist there we go that's why there's a hash there so this this href is if we had a website we we would put it there but we don't um, if you want you can put your assignment and replace that replace this with your assignment but it doesn't make a difference that just refreshes the page anyway all right, so let's just see what happens. We'll do file and save all and refresh. And then we'll move down and there it is. All right, so what we want is a white background so we can distinguish this from the top part there. And we wanna get rid of these little dots. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do that again with styles. So this is for the footer. And for the butter, footer, we want to do a background color, and we want it to be white. You could type white if you want, um, and that would be totally professionally okay. But we'll just keep doing RGBs, RGB, RGBs, and it'll be 255, 255, 255. And then I'll say white, and then I'll select this text and do control slash what did i do for the sections ah see i did white here so i did it both ways this is not wrong white and black can be typed as white and black but if you're going to be doing light blue it really should be the rgb like that and i did it here so you did it both ways um all right we'll do file save all and refresh Okay, so the, the thing is, it's all squeezed down on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and add some padding. So for the padding, we're going to do a 30, uh, 30, come on now, home row, 30 pixels. Um, whoops. And that's going to be up and down and then zero left and right. We don't need any padding uh, on either side. The U.S. The UL is already going to give us padding to the left, which is all we really need. And the last thing we want to do is get rid of those dots. And we're going to do that with, and we've done that before when we did our navigation center. Uh, should we? Yeah, when you do navigation, you change it to inline block, which removes the dots. But this is how you remove the dots. List. Why didn't it pop up? Ah, because I'm missing my semicolon. Whenever it doesn't work right, no, you've made a mistake. So stop what you're doing and figure out what the mistake is rather than keep on going. So this should have came up with that. So we have list style, none. All right, let's see how this works. We'll do file, 
save all and refresh boom and you can see that well wait a minute our dots are still there what's going on and that's because that's not a footer come on tom all right so let's go ahead and do Control x and get this rid of this the footer does not have a list style what has a list style footer ul ah there we go so you want to be careful i put it where i was typing before but that's not going to help we want to the ul is what puts the dots there so we have to make sure we use the right selector and we'll do file and save all and then refresh and that's why we do the build-in test so you can see the padding is already here we didn't need it need padding but we want to put some padding up and down another thing we can do and i don't have this in the notes is we could if we wanted to let's see we could change the size of the crew section we do could do section hash crew and we're going to do um height and let's do um 80 vh so again viewport height is vh and instead of we have a hundred percent let's see what happens if we do 80 i still don't even remember i don't even know i'm just doing this on the fly while i'm doing the video let's do file and save all and refresh okay that shouldn't do anything well, let's go sandwiches crew Nah. well let's let's maximize this to crew contact yeah i was hoping to move that up let's do this ah that's why let's do this min height 80 that might help file save all and refresh sandwiches crew oh it worked <laughs> in the wrong object there we go all right so let's try this again what was i thinking it's not section crew control x it is section contact that i want so right here and let's make this 75. now it might work better and we'll do file save all and refresh and then i'll do sandwiches crew uh oh why is crew short because i still have crew here this has to be contact what I want is I want the contact to not be as long because we don't need that length anyway because the form doesn't take up much room. Um, but I'd like the footer to show. So let's try this now. File, save all, refresh. All right, sandwiches, crew, contact. See, now when you go to the contact form, you have some room so people can actually see that there's a header down on the bottom. Um, and we do it with minimum because if this thing ends up being squeezed and pushes everything down We don't have to worry about it having scroll bars on it and you actually can't see there we go So crew and There so you can't see all of it. We can fuss around a little bit more But really what I wanted to do is I wanted to have it so that my um, contact page would show at least some of the uh, footer on there and then people go oh, oh oh there it is okay good all right well that's it for this we're on to next is making this responsive because right now when we get to a certain point uh oh yeah we get to a certain point you can see that this starts to wrap and when it wraps it doesn't work anymore and then the sandwiches are all ugly and the about is okay but when this thing doubles in size we have a problem so let's we're going to go ahead and fix all that uh 
in the next one, you can see it covers that up too.